everybody, Andrew Morrison here, another Straw Bale Minute. It's cooled off in my part of the world just a little bit, and that always reminds me of insulation. So we talked with Straw Bale Construction about having great uh, R values in the walls, and that's true. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that most houses don't lose their heat through the walls as much as they do through the roof. So you want to make sure that your lid is insulated very well. We try to insulate our roofs to an R49. Now here the code is R38, but again, the more insulation we put upstairs in the ceiling, the better the house is going to perform. So some things you want to look at. Do you, what kind of material are you going to want to use? There are a number of options from rigid foams uh, to sprayed expansion foams, cotton insulation, formaldehyde free fiberglass insulation, uh, fully encapsulated fiberglass insulation. There's a whole bunch of options out there and you need to really weigh the pros and cons of each. That's slightly beyond the scope of this straw bale minute, but I just want to make you aware that there are a number of options out there. There's lots of information available. You can Google all these things and find all the information out on the internet. But plan ahead. You know, if you if you want to go with a sprayed in expansion foam, then plan the way you design your house so that you don't have to use a 10 inch or excuse me a 12 inch uh, rafter bay or a ceiling joist to get that insulation. You can use a smaller uh, framing member. You may need to do some engineering to accomplish that, but in general, that way you're keeping your wood frame down too. So there's a whole other uh, gamut of, of options to look at beyond just the insulation. There's insulation that comes into mind and then how that affects the framing and other systems in the house is really important. So look at all of that and make your decisions and we'll keep moving as we go next week. See you then.